Yasin drove his car until he reached Myrna's house, a smile on his face as soon as he saw her, where Myrna was a tall young woman with elegant clothes, who was wearing a beautiful red dress and black shoes, which made Yasin see her as a queen. Myrna got into the car and then Yasin drove off. It was dark at night and this worried Myrna, especially since this was her first date with Yasin. Yasin felt her anxiety and said, trying to lighten the atmosphere, do you know what is the best decision you made this year? Myrna answered him with astonishment and said, what is it? Ahmed laughed a little and said, it is my confession of my love for you after being ashamed of me for three years. Myrna's eyes opened in shock and she said, three years and you have been hiding? Yasin said with confidence, yes, today I took the courage and confessed my love for you at school. Myrna began to adjust her hair with her hand with random movements as if she was in harmony with the conversation. She said, about school. Only a few months will remain until we finish high school and enter university. Yasin was agitated in the conversation and said, I do not know what makes us need to study. Even though I am from my young age and I have a luxury car and money that cannot be counted. Yasin did not complete his words, as he was surprised by a huge car in front of him. Yasin pressed the brakes, but it got worse, and instead of stopping the car, it turned and crashed into a wall. There was no one on the road to help, but Myrna was able to get out without anything happening to her. Unlike Yasin, who remained in his place, unpromised, with blood on his face, Myrna took out her phone and tried to call the ambulance, but there was no network. So she decided to get out of this street and take a taxi to take her home. She left him without even telling anyone to help but went home and tried to forget what had happened. Days passed and Myrna kept going to school every day, and she did not see Yasin, and she does not know what happened to him and whether he is alive or not. A month passed like this, and Myrna came to school every day and did not see Yasin until she had forgotten his appearance at all. And in the middle of the second month, I was surprised by someone with a swollen face full of bruises. Yes, it was Yasin. The whole school turned to Yasin and were surprised by the scars on his face that hide almost all his facial features. In the midst of all those eyes, Yasin turned to Myrna and saw signs of tension on her face. He said, don't worry, it's me. He was silent for a while, then said, I want to ask you about the incident, what happened to you and where were you? Myrna replied, trying to hide her lie, and said, I was injured in my foot and I was taken to the hospital, and then I came home because the injury was not serious and I did not know how to reach you. Yasin was silent for a while and was expecting her to ask him about his condition or something like that, but he saw indifference on her face and confirmed his feeling what she said as she ended the conversation by saying, I want to go now. In the following days, Yasin was bullied before his friends and did not forget the sound of the girl's laughter that he hears whenever he passes by them. Yasin does not need his friends or the lighting of all these people. All he wanted was attention from Myrna's childhood love. He decided to go to her and while he was on his way to her, he was surprised by a student sitting next to her and petting her, and she responded. Other than their laughter that expresses affection, Yasin's face started to heat up and he decided to continue on his way and not take a single step back. And as soon as he stood in front of them, the student screamed and said, Beast, get him away from me. Yasin did not give him any attention, but turned to Myrna and said, Who is this? Myrna started laughing while Yasin waited for her with rigid features, waiting for the answer until she finished laughing and said, Why do you care? I will never fall in love with you and a girl will not be satisfied to marry a monster, so do a favor and kill yourself. Yasin did not hold a tear in his eye from going down, he gave her his back and left the school and the light was weak in his eyes. All he saw was malice, hatred, and betrayal, as if the whole world was standing against you. Yasin sat in his room, allowing the tears to fall after he imprisoned her in front of Myrna, and with every tear that fell, he remembered a negative scene that happened to him. A scene about bullying by his friends and ringing in his ears from the girl's laughter at him and a beautiful scene and he remembers Myrna when she was sitting next to him in the car before the accident, but this scene was interrupted by what he saw today while she was petting that student. He was crying and in pain, as if his heart was an ember of fire, and tears were falling to reveal that. His pain did not remain at this point, but his cries rose as a result of the severity of the pain until his mother unintentionally heard him from Yasin. The mother moved the door a 
little to open it, and the door made the sound of Yasin's horizons and made him pay attention to the door to see his mother, and here he realized that she had heard his crying. Yasin was busy thinking of a lie to express the reason for his crying, but he was surprised by the reaction of his mother, who hugged him without speaking or asking. His hug was a long hug that made him forget all that had happened and then the mother left without a word. In fact, Yasin was surprised by what she did, but her embrace gave him an incentive to go to school and complete his studies to enter the university that his mother wanted him to enter. And the next day, Yasin went to school early, as usual, and the lessons had not started yet. Before he entered the class, he noticed that Myrna was talking to some girls inside the classroom, so he stood outside and tried to hear what they were saying. He didn't hear anything at first, but he brought him closer to his ear, and here he heard nothing but letters and mysterious words in the middle of them. He heard his name, which means that the talk is about him. So he stuck his ear to the wall and here he heard the words in a clearer way, and I wish. He had not heard these words. Insolent from Myrna. This is the worst feeling when someone you love talks about you so badly. Yasin dropped the books from his hand as soon as he heard this, so I made a sound that Myrna noticed, and when Myrna's eyes met Yasin's, Yasin's face turned red with anger and he returned home as soon as possible. Yasin entered the house and did not find his mother. There, fortunately, so he sat in the living room and unlike yesterday, he did not cry, but continued his anger and thought of having a strength that would make him stronger. And he had in mind his grandfather's book, which he had never left before his death, but after his grandfather died, he put the book in the storeroom. Yasin went to the store quickly and did not make an effort to search for the book until he found it and wiped the dirt on it and read its title Shams al-Marif Yasin took the book and went out to the living room again and began reading the book quickly until a word in the book caught his attention, which was preparing the companion. Yasin knew that the consort is from the jinn and that he loves his companion to the extent that it is a good idea for him to bring his consort to be by his side. Yasin read the steps to prepare it and started implementing it, as he brought a cat and slaughtered it and added other ingredients to its blood until he finished preparing this drink and started drinking it in front of the bathroom mirror. But he didn't feel anything happened and he didn't even feel the taste of the drink. He got angry and got out of the bathroom and closed the door hard, and here his heart snapped. Not from the sound of the door closing, but from what he saw in front of him, where he saw a black aura standing in front of him, and he only saw the features of that aura. And before Yasin did something, he found the aura rushing to him, and in less than a second that aura coalesced into Yasin's body. Yasin screamed and jumped from his place, but he heard something in his head saying, Do not worry, I am your companion and I will help you when you need. Yasin was reassured, and his eyes fell on the clock, and it was nine, so he quickly left the house and returned to school, and it did not take him minutes because the school is close to home. And when he entered the school, he found that it was time for rest, and everyone was eating what he had brought from the food, and some were playing and some were talking to the other. And when Yasin Myrna and that student again saw them laughing and talking, the voice in his head said, Shall I kill him? Yasin shook his head in agreement, and as soon as Yasin shook his head, the whole school witnessed a panic attack, where, without warning, this student grabbed the knife and slaughtered himself. The whole school gathered around him while Yasin was standing far away looking at Myrna, who was crying with signs of joy and happiness on his face. The school was closed, and in the following days, Yasin did not see Myrna, but he was busy with his annoying peer and his impossible requests, as he was asking Yasin strange requests and difficult to implement, and Yasin refused his orders every time until a day came when he ordered his companion Yasin to carry out a certain thing, but Yasin refused as usual, and here Yasin did not hear any sound in his ear other than the voice of the companion, which shook the sound of parts of Yasin's body when he said, O oh human, I have carried out your orders, why refuse what I ask for you opened yourself the doors of torment and you will see woe, you and those who know, you are heard about you. This was the last sentence Yasin heard before they found him hanged in his room. On the first day, the police were interrogating his friends, especially Myrna, and they were unable to interrogate Yasin's mother because she stopped talking, as if a strong shock had affected her. The police did not continue the investigation, as the village and those in it disappeared in mysterious circumstances the next day of Yasin.